Yesterday, we introduced the number 13. Today, we're gonna work on the number 13 number bond page. So, everyone, make sure you have a pencil and get your name on the top so we know whose work it is. And then we're ready to get started. So, what do we have up here? That's right, we have 10 frames and we have two of them. Can you remember why we have two 10 frames? I showed you yesterday in our video. We have two 10 frames because 13 is bigger than 10. Just one 10 frame only holds 10. We need more than that to show the number 13. So if we're gonna draw 13 circles and show it in 10 frames, we have to have two. So let's do that. Don't forget, when you're drawing your circle, circles come to a close. So you have to make sure you're closing them up. Let's count as we draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Just like we saw yesterday, 13 is shown with one full 10 frame and three more in the next 10 frame. That's 13. Now, we need to find out if 13 is even or odd. And to do that, we need to do one, two, circle together. We're putting everybody with a partner. If everyone has a partner, then the number is even. If somebody is left out, then the number is odd. Let's go. One, two, circle together. 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 Oh, we have one by himself. Someone's left out. So that makes the number 13 odd. O, D, D, odd. Next, we are gonna go to our four square here. The first box says draw. So we're gonna draw 13 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 13. Great job. Next, we're tallying. Now remember, on every fifth tally mark, we cross. So if you get to one, two, three, four, cross for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, cross for 10. So let's work on our tallies. Ready? One, two, three, four, cross for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, cross for 10, 11, 12, 13. So when you're showing 13 in tally marks, it's two fives and three more. Okay, the next box says one more. So we need to know what's one more than 13. So we're gonna take our pen and put on 13 circles. Count with me as I put them on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Now it said plus one plus one, one more. So I've got to add one more. So here I have one, one more. Now let's see how many that gives us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So one more than thirteen is 14. Awesome job. So
So next, we're gonna do one less. Now, I know that before that green, we had 13. I can count to double check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, now I need to do one less. And remember, one less means I have to take away one. So I'm gonna take one away and see how many that leaves me with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That leaves me with twelve. So one less is the number twelve. Awesome job. Now let's work on our number bond. And I'm gonna start with 13 circles again. I want you to pause this video and get 13 of something. 13 pieces of candy, 13 crayons, anything you wanna use that's small, get 13 of them. Okay, I have 13 circles. Let me count and double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. So remember our big number is 13. Our number bond has our big number in it. A number bond just shows us how we can take one big number and break it into two smaller groups. So I have 13 in one big group and I wanna break it into two smaller groups. So I wanna put some of, the num some of the circles on this side and some of the circles on this side. But I still have to keep 13 on my board. If you're using crayons or an item in front of you, you still have to keep 13 of that item. You cannot take any away. You cannot put any more on there. We're taking 13 and we're just splitting that into two groups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to scoot some over here. Okay, so now I have two groups. You see how there's some space? So I have a group over here and I have a group over here. I took the number 13 and I broke it apart into two smaller numbers. Here shows one, two, three, four, five. This side has five. Here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five and eight. And if I put them back together, it would give me 13. So my number bond today is five and eight makes 13. Now we could split it in different ways. I could have kept these over here. And then my number bond would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six. My number bond could have said seven, and six makes 13. You might have gotten something different, and that's okay. There are lots of ways that we could break apart the number 13. Now, if you're finished with your number bond, go ahead and trace and write your number 13s, and trace and write your word 13.